Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the 2021 TFCon Baltimore exclusive Shadow Commander Pistol Onyx. Now this figure here was presented by the Chosen Prime and was limited to only 500 pieces. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my fellow con bro, Engineer Hoist for picking this figure up for me. Engineer Hoist had an early access ticket. I did not, so he was able to pick this up on Friday night for me. So Engineer Hoist, thank you so much. I think when we left the con, there was only about five or six of these figures left, so I consider myself very fortunate to have one. Now, this figure here is an homage to the original OG Megatron mold that predated the Transformers, the Gun Robo. There were two versions of Megatron in that line, the silver version that carried over to the Megatron that we all know and love, and this black version that never made it to the States. So I think it's really cool that we have a figure that honors that classic version of Megatron. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Walther P38, the Chosen Prime, New Age, we got Micro Warrior changed to P38, Robo Weapon Form. And I love the box art. That's very Japanese G1. Top of the box, same thing. The side of the box, you see Pistol Onyx in some fantastic poses. This figure is very poseable. I've been playing around with him for a week. And there on the back of the box is another great product shot. So now, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up out of the package and show him off. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Pistol Onyx all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And these are actually done up really well. They're done up in black, white, and red. So you've got the robot there in black and white and red showing the pieces that need to be moved around. So fairly decent instructions for a third party figure. He also comes with the accessories for his pistol mode, just like G1 Megatron. We've got the barrel extender here and the two shoulder stock pieces. He also comes with his Energon flail and that is one piece of translucent purple plastic, no articulation whatsoever but it does look really, really good. He also has the key to Vector Sigma, the PKG prime killing gun. He has two different sets of hands, a splayed out hand and pointer finger, and those are still attached to the sprue. He also comes with this blast effect adapter and I wasn't sure what that was. I actually had to reach out to Get Right Robot to figure out what it was because I had no clue. And he has two extra faces. And these are G1 Megatron inspired. We got a frowny face here. And we have his laughing face. So those look spot on to the masterpiece Megatron faces. So now, let's take a closer look at Pistolonix himself. 
Now, first things first, let's address the elephant in the room, that damn orange safety tip. That easily pops off, and I will never put that on this figure again. So now, he looks a lot better. And man, what an impressive figure this is for such a small one. If you're used to my channel, you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm not big in on third-party figures, especially these little legend scale, but man, this guy is really impressive. Take a quick look at the head sculpt here. This head sculpt is very, very G1 with the pointed triangle crest right there on the forehead, painted yellow eyes, great face sculpt all together. I mean, the sculpting on this guy is fantastic. Very similar to Generation 1 Megatron. You see the little triangles there, the little indentations along the side, the AB computer console that's painted red, yellow, and blue. And then you got the silver right in there. I love it. He does have blue elbow joints, blue hands, great details there on the crotch area as well, the hip skirts. Now, the hip skirts and the outside of the legs are brown. So that's definitely a new look for Megatron. Got silver right here for the thighs. Nice, I mean, the nice shiny black is what's really impressed me right now because to be honest, I wasn't sure about a all black Megatron or Stealth Megatron, Shadow Megatron, but it works. This looks really, really cool. Down here on the feet, you got more great silver paint details. I mean, all, of, all, all in all, can't even talk. I'm so in all of this figure. This guy looks amazing. So, real quick, let's swap out one of the face sculpts. We'll go ahead and give you more G1 Megatron look. Let's see, let's go for the grouchy, frowny face here. And all you gotta do, you see the seam right there along the top, if you can get your thumbnail in, or actually it might be easier to get up it under the chin of the figure and just pop it right out. It's just a single peg. So let's go ahead and swap out for a more G1 Megatron look. So yes, that looks cool. And these are tiny. I want to make sure and put these somewhere where I won't lose them. So I love that. That looks so awesome. Now, speaking of switching things out, I did pop off one of the extra hands. I've got the pointer finger hand and how that would work. You just simply pop off the other hand. I mean, just like, like the face, one peg, and then we'll pop in the pointer finger. Now that's, that's a little looser. Oh, there we go. Get in nice and tight. So now he's pointing and fussing at you. You will do as I say. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, you got wrist rotation due to the fact that you can pop the hands off. Now for transformation, I would assume that you wanna leave the fists in. Well, let's see, why this fist, while that fist is out, let's go ahead and bring in the flail, peg that in. So there is his Energon flail. So that looks really cool. And it really doesn't go in that deep. I mean, it's, it's kind of loose compared to the hands, but still, it's a cool option. Let's see, we'll put his fist back on, bring in the old PKG gun here, slide that in his fist. Let's see, now that's a tight fit. There we go. So you've got that going on, and great paint applications on that as well. The blue and the darker blue look just like it did in the movie. Let's go ahead and get that taken out. And the other adapter we have that I wasn't sure where this went, I actually messaged the uh, my fellow con bros who picked this up and I was like, where does this go? And some of them said it was a adapter for the turret. Some said it was an adapter to put him on a stand. Now he does have a little hole right here so you can plug it in and you know, it's a butt plug. I just lost the monetization on this channel. But I actually reached out to Get Right Robot, and this is an adapter that goes into the barrel of his fusion cannon. So you can take a blast effect 
peg that in the end. So now you've got Megatron blasting away, or Pistolonics. I'm probably going to alternate my names for this guy over and over through the whole review. So big shout out to Get Right Robot for letting me know what that was. Now let's see, our other accessory is the Key to Vector Sigma. Another nicely sculpted item. Very nice paint application as well. Nice shiny gold. It's got a little tip right there, so you can put that in Megatron's fist. Another nice tight fit. So now Megatron is ready to bring my Magic Square Stunicons to life. I really like how that looks. The gold really contrasts well to the black. So now let's get Pistolonix over here and I will show you how to utilize the accessories for his gun mode. Just like G1 Megatron, you can take this, split it apart, so you have a tripod. You take this section here, and there's actually, if you look, there's a little slot right there that you want to line up with the little slot or the little tab there. Now that's actually a pretty tight fit anyway, so that locks that in place, and then you take this, you've got two slots here that will line up to the tabs right there. Peg that in. So there we have Megatron's artillery cannon. Let me see. I'm going to turn around this way. That way it'll angle up more. And then, of course, you can take his fusion cannon here. Tab that off the arm. Tab it right there. So there you go. you got Megatron ready to wield his artillery cannon. So I like that. A very nice Generation 1 Megatron throwback. So now let's take a look at the articulation for Pistolonix. As I said earlier, this guy has some great articulation for such a little figure. The head is on a ball joint, can look up, it can look down, can do a complete 360. Nice tight joints. Love that. Arms out so far they're going to catch right there but they can go out they can go in there's an elbow bend elbow rotation wrist rotation as i showed earlier waist rotation legs can go forward they can go back they can go out they can go in they are going to move that hip hip flap around hip skirt whatever you call those drawing a blank let knees also have a knee bend there is a thigh rotation and ankle tilt. So this guy has some fantastic articulation. And as you see, the hips can actually drop down, but that's for transformation. And speaking of transformation, let's go ahead and get Pistolonix transformed into his gun mode. Now to get Pistolonix transformed into his gun mode, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the fusion cannon. So just pop that right off. You got the little peg right here and go ahead and fold that down into the arm. Now you're gonna flip the figure around where you've got the gun barrel sticking up over his shoulder. You're gonna bring that down, bring this section up, and just rotate this around like so, and then peg it right there. So you can see what you have is the front of the gun. Now this one right here, or this part right here, this was tricky for me to figure out in the transformation. What you're gonna do is pull down and kind of open the waist up a little bit and get your thumbnail up and under his red stomach area. So you get that straight out and then just push it through. So when that pops through, it releases the trigger and trigger guard. And then you have this little fork right there. You will bring this out and bring that fork out straight. So you've got that going on. Now, what you're going to do is bring the arms down, and these are a little tricky. This took me a while to figure out, but there's tabs that actually go, go up inside of the chest, so you want to kind of lift the chest up slightly to get those arms unpegged, and it is kind of scary because it really doesn't want to pop out. So there's one, and that was easy. This was usually the one that takes me the longest to get out, but as you can see right there, there's the tabs and they fit up in under here. So it took me a while to figure that one out. So now you have Pistolonix looking like this. Go ahead and bring this front section, his chest up. 
and you're gonna rotate it around like so. It only rotates one way. You wanna take his head too and kind of push back out of the way because there's really not much clearance there. So you get that up out of the way, lean that forward, and then you can actually bring this up and drop the figure, bring this up and tab that into place so you've got the front of the gun. Now take the waist and rotate that around to 180. Take the legs and you're gonna take this section right here, this brown piece, oops, missed a step. Behind the legs, you'll take this section, flip this up and around, which will unlock the brown section of the leg, which you're going to rotate around. Get that for both sides. The blue inside of the leg, you're gonna untab right there and go ahead and bring that out. And then take the black section behind the foot and fold that out as well. And on this foot right here, that's the hammer. You can probably tell with the details right there. That's the hammer for gun mode. Go ahead and flip that out like so. So you've got this mess going on. Now what you're gonna do, take the hip skirts and reach in and unfold if you can. Need some fingernails. Unfold that little pointy section right there. Get that out of the way. Make sure this waist section here is pulled down. Make sure the legs are extended fully. And now what you can do is peg, go ahead and peg the legs together. Sometimes easier said than done. Let's go ahead and fold these legs on top of each other. They'll just kind of lift up and over like so. Bring these hip skirts down and you can kind of see how everything is going to line up. There we go. Go ahead and bring the brown sections, fold those in. These should all tab together now, nice and tight. There we go, there was that nice click right here with the fork from the trigger. That's going to peg into those little squares right there. So get that lined up and pegged into place. So now comes the hardest part of the transformation, the arms. Now this arm right here, this is the easiest. And as I said, you want to make sure and have the fists attached. Go ahead and collapse that arm on itself. Rotate this section up and this little piece right here out. Then you're going to bring this back. Whoops, unpegged it. Bring this back and around. And you're gonna fit the fist, you gotta angle it like so to get it right inside. This black's hard to show off, but you won't get it right inside the main body of the pistol. So it just kind of loops around. So you've got that going on. Now this, this arm here is the difficult arm. You're gonna do the same thing with the top. Bring this out, fold this around. Well, might have to do that last. Right here, you need to, at the joint, you're gonna pop this section apart. And now, you're gonna bring this out, and this part always confuses me because I can never remember which way this unfolds. Because you wanna unfold this whole section. This is a very tight joint. Once you get your fingernail in and figure out where it needs to go, this, this one right here took me forever to figure out. Come on, man. All right, there we go. So once you get that busted apart like so, you're going to fold this around so the blue fist is meeting up with that blue elbow joint. Just like that. Go ahead and bring this part out. So now you're going to bring this around and rotate. And now this all has to fit inside here. And this, this is tricky. Oh, here's that section I didn't unfold before. Make sure to get that folded out. So now, I've done this a couple times. The first time it popped right in. The second time took forever because you've got these tabs. You have to get these tabs up and under the section, main section of the body. So if you can get that under there, 
And it's so hard because everything's so shiny and black, it just blends in together. So get that there, lift that up. Yep, right here, this is the hard part, getting this in, snapped into place. Make sure everything else is lined up, tabbed together. And there we go. Bring this section up, everything's tabbed in. Let's see, I'm missing, I'll bring this down here. And there we go, Pistolonix in his pistol mode. And that looks awesome. Let's see, get finished tabbed in right there. Get them all cleaned up. I'm missing one spot right there. Let's see if I can get that to line up for you. Okay, now everything's tabbed in. And look how good this gun looks. That is awesome. Now, I was complaining a lot about the black and it's really hard to see things when you're transforming it. But once you get him transformed, being black like this gun is really helps with all the panels. The panels do not look so bad against the black of this gun. Now, of course, right here, we can attach the scope, which tabs in right here on those blue sections. Click that into place and then take the barrel of the fusion cannon and just extend forward, and there we go. How cool is that? I think the only drawbacks, or only missing things for this awesome looking gun mode, the trigger does not move. I take that back. It does move. I can't get my finger in there though. So yeah, the trigger moves a little bit back and forth. I mean, it doesn't spring back, and I wish the hammer could cock. But other than that, that looks awesome. Now, for comparison, here is Generation 1 Megatron. I love it. That is so cool. That is a sweet looking gun. Right here. They definitely don't make them like this anymore. So now, let's go ahead and bring in the pistol accessories, still in cannon mode. Just unpeg this, you wanna look around. So you've got the slot right there, that's where the sights will fit. And that is a nice, tight fit right there. And then for the shoulder stock, fold that together and you got the pegs right here. Let's see, had it upside down. There we go. That is awesome. A great generation one Walther P38 replica. I love this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the 2021 TFCon Baltimore exclusive Pistolonix with Generation 1 Megatron, the Thrilling 30 Legends class Megatron, who I totally forgot about when I did the KO Megatron review that ended up being a KO version of this very figure. Legend Scale Gun Megatron and Kingdom Core Class Megatron. The 2021 TFCon Baltimore exclusive Pistolonix is a great little Megatron figure. I absolutely love this guy. I really wasn't sure about him when I first saw him released. I, you know, I'm not a big Legends guy. I really wasn't too keen on spending $75 for, in what my opinion was, a core class figure. But man, he really impressed me. Tons of accessories, tons of posability, and really not a bad transformation into a gun mode. And now how often are we gonna see gun mode Megatrons? So yeah, I love this guy. Once again, big shout out to Engineer Hoist and the Chosen Prime for making this figure available. So there you go, guys. The 2021 TFCon Baltimore exclusive Shadow Commander Pistolonix. So, does the TFCon 2021 Baltimore exclusive Shadow Commander Pistolonix belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Megatron fan, absolutely. It is so cool to have a representation of his Gun Robo Classic design with this 
black figure with the wood stock handle. That is awesome. You know, that's one of those figures I will probably never own the original. So it's really cool to have this version. I mean, this guy is awesome. He comes loaded with accessories. He's really poseable. Uh, lots of different options with the different faces and, you know, the flail, the key to Cybertron or Vector Sigma. This guy is all around a great figure and the transformation is really not that bad. And that gun mode is awesome. So yes, I am very pleased to have this figure in my collection to go on my Megatron shelf. And once again, big shout out and thank you to Engineer Hoist. Make sure and subscribe to his channel. Awesome, awesome guy. Now, from what I noticed, there are still a few of these Pistol Onyx figures left in stock at the Chosen Prime. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video so you can grab one for yourself. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube. And big shout out to all my current channel members. It's you guys and your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!